everybody what's up my name is Bertha welcome to my channel today I thought I would do a get ready with me video because I've been kind of slacking because <laughs> um, well you know what I really don't have an excuse um, I look terrible today and the only way I can make my feel so <laughs> make myself feel better is to do my makeup so that's what I'm gonna do today. I'm gonna do my makeup and I thought I would just do a little video on it. <laughs> I'm gonna use this new primer that I got. The Milani Prep and Prime. So and I guess today I'm gonna be kind of showing you how I do my ugly ass eyebrows. Really quick, I just wanted to show you guys and kind of compare these two eyebrow pencils. Um, I'm not going to compare them on my face because I don't have time for that right now. But this is my Anastasia Brow Wiz. Or not Brow Wiz, what is that? I don't, wait, is that the Benefit? I don't know. I'm not that great with makeup brands because I don't have a lot. That's okay though because we're just, we're just keeping it chill today. Okay, um, this is my brow definer from Anastasia. And I just got this one from Wet, from Wet n Wild. And that's actually backwards. I don't know. Okay, it's fine. Okay. But look, they look the exact same, right? I think. Here we go. Look. Okay, no, the spoolie on this one's a lot thicker. This one's a lot thinner and kind of feels gross, but maybe because I use this one more. I don't know. That's the wrong word. Okay. And then the other side. No, this is what looks the same. Okay, so like, these are the exact same, right? Okay, this one's more used. This one's more loved. Since I just got this one. Look at that. They're like... Sorry, I just got an email from my work. I'm telling you I'm a shitty worker and I'm probably gonna get fired. Eh, no. Um, yeah, but they look kind of alike. Um, I'm gonna swatch them. Here's the Wet n Wild. Oh, God. This feels terrible. It's hard. This is hard. I don't... Is it supposed to be that? That's it. Oh, this is the wrong one. It, that feels, okay, and now we're gonna, I guess this one feels kind of hard too, though. Like, no, this one feels a lot smoother. See, this is the Anastasia, and this is the Wet n Wild. Everyone kept saying, like, oh yeah, it's a complete dupe. No, it's not. It's not. This is, okay, okay, okay. You need to break the first layer. That's what you need to do. You need to break the first layer, and then it gets pretty smooth. Okay, okay. I spoke too soon. I'm sorry, Wet n Wild. I shouldn't have, because you're my brother die. Oh. I'm gonna speed up through this now, so here we go. Alright, and that's it you guys, that's how I do my brows, what's up? Okay, so, I mean, if you like them, you like them, if you don't, that's literally up to you. I mean, everyone does their brows their own way, and we shouldn't judge other people for the way they howl. For the way they howl. <laughs> I'm judging myself. We shouldn't judge people on the way they do their brows. Everyone does them differently. It's 2019. It's time to respect each other, to uplift women. Yeah? Okay. Um, I'm gonna con conceal my lids a little bit. Using Tarte Shape Tape. Hello, girl. Just a little bit. Just 
Dot. Dot. Boom. You're ready. Let's go. Let's go party. I'm just punching myself in the eye. Don't do this too hard. You might give yourself a black eye. And then what? <laughs> How are you going to explain that? Yeah, it's just pouncing too hard. My beauty blender. Actually, I just got this. This is the real techniques. Obviously, you know what it is. It's orange. Everybody knows what this is, right? If you don't, it's the real techniques. Beauty sponge, not judging you for not knowing what it was. Um, this is the one I usually use, the Eco Tools one. This one's really spongy and I really like it, but I just got a new one. I don't know if they changed their sponge or something, but it's not as good as the old one I used to have. And this one's okay, it's pretty spongy, but I don't think I got it wet enough because it's all lumpy. Um, what are we doing now? Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna do our eyes. That's what we're gonna do. Um, okay, so I just put concealer on my eyes, so now I'm gonna use this Cody Airspun powder. Stuff is, I literally will not use any other baking powder. You just can't make me, you can't. I will not do it. So I'm just gonna, oh wow. I put way too much on. That's a lot. Um, I don't know what I'm doing today. Um, going with my ride or die brush. Hello, my Morphe blending brush. This is literally the only brush I own. Just kidding you guys, I have so many more brushes that I literally don't use. Like, okay. Oh, hold on. Like, these are just some of my brushes. <laughs> like, just some of them. Um, these are my, like, go-to brushes. And a lot of the other ones are probably somewhere in my couch. Because I don't have a place to do my makeup. Except my couch. And my daughter just steps on them and they just fall into the couch. And after that... You're not getting that bad. I'm gonna use my Jaclyn Hill palette because this is literally the only palette I own. Just kidding. Um, I want a couple more, but I just don't really use them that much. I really like this one. I really wish I could get the James Charles palette, but <laughs> your girl don't have any money every time it comes out. And the last time I did have money, it was sold out in an hour. So I'm gonna keep using my Jaclyn Hill palette. I even like, okay, so the day that thing came out, the, well, the second time it came out, whenever he did a restock on it, I was like, oh, I'm gonna get the James Charles palette, it's gonna be awesome. I literally set an alarm, I waited, I refreshed the Morphe page, like, five times. Five times. It did not show up. It didn't even show, like, that it was back in stock or anything. And then I click it again, finally find it, out of stock. It's only been, like, 45 minutes. And it's gone? <laughs> I wasted so much time when I could've been taking it out. Dang it. There, now I look like I got beat, so. Oh god, I started on the wrong side. What am I, what am I doing? Just gonna keep blending out and, you know, whenever you mess up your makeup, all you have to do is just keep blending. And eventually, either it'll blend away into your skin, or you'll fix it. I mean, right? I kind of just want to talk about how like I'm kind of going through this quarter life crisis thing. I'm not even 25 yet. <laughs> I'm 24. Which isn't that old. But it kind of sounds old. You know? Like just a little bit. Like I'm 24 and I'm married. Like bling. <laughs> no. Stop doing that with your tongue. Anyways. I'm 24. I'm married. Um and I have a kid and uh never in my life did I think for one that I was ever gonna get married literally like did I want to get married when I was younger yeah I did I wanted to like you know be typical and have a wife or have a wife do whatever you want actually but have a husband have a kid live in a house do all that junk I wanted to do all that, but I didn't think it was actually going to happen for me. So it's happened. My daughter is like 10 months old, almost 10 months. She's the cutest thing ever. If you haven't seen her, um, where have you been? She's like in all my videos. She like has a little pop up every once in a while. So I am a mess 
and I'm living my best life honestly like oh my god don't you don't you hate when that happens when you're just trying when you're just trying so hard and this is what I'm talking about no one ever told me like how hard it would be to have a kid like thank god I didn't get pregnant in high school because that would have been terrible like kudos to the you know like I'm not judging anyone like if you got pregnant in high school like and had a kid you know good for you I mean if you made it if you didn't make it whatever like you had a kid and you're thriving like you're thriving good for you and like you're not like the rest of us who are gonna be like 50 with kids still running around and shit you're gonna be like 50 and vacationing and fucking retired already because you had kids early not saying that you should get pregnant in high school but for those who did it was a blessing good for you you know you're gonna be young and retired and i'm gonna be old still fucking chasing kids around anyways um i don't really know what i'm doing with my makeup right now i really don't know why i like told you guys that about like the whole quarter life crisis thing but uh i don't know no one told me how hard it would be to have kids and like <sighs> it's a blessing honestly no one even told me how hard it would be to like get pregnant and stuff because like it took me so many times to like try and get pregnant and I like didn't and it was sad and like it was just a lot it was a lot of like trying to do stuff to get pregnant and a lot of like wasted money on pregnancy tests and junk oh, it wasn't until like after I like stopped trying that it finally worked that it finally worked that I got pregnant um but that's okay you know if you're struggling to get pregnant or whatever, just relax and stop worrying about it. I know everyone says that. Everyone's like, oh, once you like stop thinking about it, you'll finally get pregnant. Happens for some people. It doesn't happen for some people. Some people do better tracking their stuff and everything. And then they get pregnant. And it's like, oh yeah, I did this and this. And I stood on my head for 20 minutes after we had sex. And blah, 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 blah. Everyone does it different. So if you want a kid, do whatever you need to do to try to have kids. If it's getting too stressful, stop just stop like just enjoy your life and also pregnancy is contagious because like one of my friends got pregnant and then i got pregnant and then one of my other friends got pregnant and then another one of my friends got pregnant everybody that i knew was pregnant at the same time and it was like bam like who are you like there's like 20 girls on my facebook right now who are pregnant good for them you don't want kids don't let people pressure you into having kids I put some gold shadow on where I cut my crease. Why do I always use the same brush all the time? Um, well, no one asked, but I'm gonna tell you anyways. I just like it. It's a good brush. Uh, this is the Morphe brush. Um, I don't know what it it's just a blending brush get you like a good blending brush it's the only brush you're ever gonna need in your whole life and a concealer brush you need to conceal <laughs> since i don't really remember what i was talking about um let's talk about stuff for the new year let's let's talk about the new year it's 2019 it's year of the pig i'm so excited because it's my year and it's gonna be a good year i'm moving this year I'm not moving from my town that I live in right now um, because we're not there yet. But I am moving from my house and I am super excited because I hate this house so much. I've lived here for like four years now. I'm ready to get out and I'm, I'm just so excited to finally get out of this house and be in a new place. Be in a new place where I'm happy and 
am thriving and living my best life honestly because right now I feel like I'm not living my best life being in this house and it's really upsetting because everyone what was that noise everyone should be happy and doing what they love and I don't feel like I'm doing what I love right now being in this home like this house is just like draining me of everything like I'm so depressed and so tired of being in this house no no not no I'm not getting into that right now I'm just not but I'm not gonna think about the negatives. I'm gonna think about the positives. I'm moving this year and that's awesome. I'm also probably gonna be quitting my job. Not fully, but a little bit. I'm probably only gonna be working a couple days a week. Maybe it's, I worked like two days a week. What the hell am I talking about? I'm probably not gonna work as much though because uh, I need to spend time with my baby. I feel like I'm not spending enough time with her even though I do get like five days a week to spend with her. It's just not enough and like I feel like I'm not doing enough again because this house is draining me of all existence but being in a new place being at home more is going to make everything better I know it this side looks like poo poo and this side looks good okay we're gonna keep going we're gonna keep going Anyways, uh, other things, um, I plan on working out this year, like actually working out. I'm not just like, I'm not just saying I'm going to work out. I am going to work out and get thin and live a good life. I quit drinking soda, um, last year. I had gestational diabetes with my baby and it was terrible. I had to poke myself with needles every single day and take insulin and I hated every single moment, but it was for the health of my darling angel. And I stopped drinking soda because I wasn't allowed to drink soda because um, I had too many carbs in it or something. So I I cut that out. Um, and it was really hard for me at first. Like I cried a lot and it was terrible. Diet soda is just not my thing. So I quit drinking si diet soda and I started just drinking water because there wasn't anything else to drink. I became addicted to water. I drink so much water a day. I buy like a 12 pack and it's gone like in, in like two days. I'm done with that by the way done with my eyes I'm over it so I'm just gonna pounce some of this oh I'm using my thin tea I gotta take my brother to the urgent care that's what I'm doing today uh, he's sick don't tell him I'm talking about him I think he can hear me Shh. um I didn't use enough <laughs> you need more What other things are happening in 2019? I think I'm getting rid of my car too. I hate it. I don't hate it. It's taking me everywhere. And we, we drove to Chicago and it was really fun. I really enjoyed it kind of. We stopped in like St. Louis. That was really fun. I enjoyed that too. Anyways, um, but my car took us all the way there to Chicago, which like from where I live, that's like a 12 hour drive. Yeah, my car is taking us places, and so it's really nice. Um, but I think it's just time for it to move on and, you know, find someone else. And 2019 is the year of new, happy, beautiful times. And as much as I love my car, it's not making me that happy. So honestly, most times it just makes me mad. So I'm going to get rid of it, probably get a different car. We're probably just going to cut down to one vehicle, maybe. I don't know. What else am I doing in 2019? I don't know. I guess I'm just going to work on myself a little bit this year and try to make myself feel better because I have a lot of times where I'm just like really down and I don't message anyone and that's like really bad because I have a lot of friends who like really care about me and stuff like that and I need to... I need to find time to spend more time with them and to actually get out there. I've been blending forever. That's fine. That's what you have to do. You have to blend this into your skin. Pounce it into your skin. Your foundation has to be a part of your skin. 
I did my face, I did my eyes, well, I did my foundation. Um, concealer, that's what I'm gonna do next. So, taking the only concealer I own, just kidding, I can't find, okay, I have Age Rewind, the Maybelline Age Rewind, and I just got that one. And before this one, I was using, well, I have Tarte, the C one or whatever. Because I didn't know Sephora didn't have shape tape. So that's why I got the C one. Um, and then before that, I was using Wet n Wild. I think that was it. I'm done with that. I look ghostly right now and I need to add some color to my face. But first, Cody Ears Bone Powder. Hello, oh god. Hello. I'm gonna set that down before it spills everywhere because I don't have a little great thing in there. I took it out. I hated it. It was stupid. There we go. Okay, now we're gonna add some color to my face because I look like a ghost. I'm not really a ghost though. Um, I probably don't really look that much like a ghost because I'm still brown. Oh my god. Okay, so I don't know if anybody watched my other videos, but I finally found that other brush and it was in my couch. And I cleaned it, but um, it's still stained. It's fine. Um, what was I gonna use? Hold on. Okay. Hello, NYX bronzing powder. <laughs> um, that's I'm going to use my Milani, uh, what is the blush? So thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you guys liked it, then please give it a thumbs up. I know it was pretty awkward, but still, um, if you guys want to leave a comment down below telling me what you liked about this video, or if you guys have any suggestions or want to see me do any makeup looks because I'm trying to expand my knowledge on makeup. So I'd really appreciate that. And I will see you guys next time for the next video. Hopefully it'll be up soon. I had a, I posted something on Instagram that I was going to show you guys how I did that look, but it's basically this look, but with prettier colors. And I just, I never got around to actually like editing and stuff like that. It was really sad, but I'll get to that and I'll post that video probably soon. So I'll see you guys next time. Bye.